Great question. Lead in right here. Know your sh social graphics. I'm going to run through that real quick. Um, knowing behaviors, who likes to talk about what and on what platforms they like to talk about. We use a totally different tone on Twitter than we do on Google Plus and on LinkedIn and on Facebook because to us they're a different audience. Facebook may be our family members. There may be a few clients in there, but we don't carry on business on Facebook. Google Plus a little bit, definitely on LinkedIn and Twitter we put out everything in the world. Personal, business, everything. That's just how we live in our social communities. Um, where are your customers hanging out? That's the very first thing you guys should identify. We talked, I said something about this at the very beginning. You have to figure out if this is right for you. What, is social media even right for you? Which it probably is because there's like a billion people in social media right now. Um, and then what social communities are right for you? Identifying where your customers are hanging out online. Um, there's a few statistics out there. There's LinkedIn will put out some statistics, Facebook will put out some, but they change so often. The best way to find out those true numbers is to test the waters. Talk about what homes you have available in a certain area and get that out to your network, your network on LinkedIn, your network on your blog. You should be blogging. Everybody should be blogging. Before you get on LinkedIn, start your blog if you're not already doing that because that's where you're going to meet the masses is on your blog through SEO. Mm -mm like a WordPress blog, like attached to your website. I'm sure most of you probably have a website. Um, you're going to reach a much larger audience in every geographic area in the United States by blogging than you are about any of the other sessions that you guys are going to go through today. Um, this should be an add-on to that. There's also tools in the background where you can automatically get your information from your blog to LinkedIn, but we don't want to talk about that today. So. Knowing where they're hanging out online, testing the waters, get the information out there. If you're looking for new partners in the title industry, start talking about that kind of thing and see what kind of feedback you get back, see what kind of conversations get started off of that. So that's what that means. Um, who do your customers trust online? You've got, to know, you've got to know what your customers like and what they don't like. Do they want to see you forcing all your homes, your listings on LinkedIn all the time? And you're only going to know that by the conversations. Remember we talked about living, going out and living in these social communities? That's what we're talking about here. You have to get out and live and you have to have conversations, not just one-way advertising like we used to do in the old days, throwing up a billboard just because our creative director said it's the right thing to do. That's not the way social media works. You have to get out there and live with these guys. And you have to build that trust relationship. Um, who trusts your customers online? Remember we talked about this? These, these networks of connections out here on LinkedIn. What, what is this guy? What's number 35 out here talking about? Because that's, that's the person that you don't know yet, but they are a potential client because of the information that's going to filter through out into the social media world. So who do they trust and who are they? So you're almost like profiling these folks that are going to be looking at the content you're putting out there and the conversations you're carrying on. Don't focus on the tools and technology. That is so important. Um, don't focus on LinkedIn. Don't focus on your blog. Stand, pull out what I said a few minutes ago about you should be blogging because today in 2011 you should be. In 2012 that might not be true. So that's the point there. Don't focus on Twitter. Don't focus on Facebook. Don't focus on Google Plus because think about Google Plus, brand new. It, it, it hasn't even been open. It's still there by invitation only. It hasn't even been open to the public. But who knew 12 months ago that when Google Wave failed and Google Buzz failed, that Google was actually going to come out with a decent product? Well, they did. If we'd have just been focusing on Facebook or if we would have just been fo focusing on Twitter, that's a lot of effort and a lot of money to pour into one platform. And now you got to say, oh my gosh, there's another one out there. But if the masses are there, you've got to be there. You've got to get out there because you have to get those conversations going out there. So focus on the strategy, how you build your conversations going, and what type of tone you use in these social communities or through your blog and getting out to the social communities. Build that strategy. Then when there's another tool, it just fits into your strategy. <coughs> Any questions there? Only if the masses get there. Yeah, and 
Only if people go, only if people go there, only if people migrate over off of Facebook or they migrate off of Twitter or they migrate off of wherever, wherever else. Right, right. I can say that we've been playing with Google Plus for a while now since we first got an invite a few weeks ago. And it's a solid product. It's nice. It's very easy to use. The clutter's not there. Um, there's still some early trash in there. I was talking about that guy in Vietnam. You know, there's, there's just junk out there like with any other social community but it's easy to use and I found that it's easy to use from all social media maturity levels teenagers can use it and it's easy to use and 70 year olds can easy use it and it's easier to use it's it's very easy it's just so logging in anything yet? nothing no nothing ties in yet there's no open API's or anything like that so None of your tools. The question was, does Hootsuite tie into it or Seismic? And those are little panels you can open, and it's got your Twitter timeline and your Facebook timeline, your LinkedIn. Uh, I'm not sure if LinkedIn ties in. I think it does. But it's one console where you can see all those conversation. Google Plus doesn't yet interact or tie into Hootsuite and Seismic. But that should be soon.